we have crossed the South Australian border today. Um, we're in Mount Gamba at the moment and we're going to spend the next um, couple of days, maybe a week, heading towards Adelaide. So we'll take you along and show you what we get up to today in here. First up, we headed off to Umpherston Sinkhole uh, to check out the beautiful gardens there. I think it's pronounced Tantanula Caves, which were pretty impressive. Um, they're not very big and it's really pretty cheap to get in, but it was like real beautiful in this small space very, in the cave. Very weird. Like it looks very strange. It looks cool, but it, it kind of looked fake. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It looked like plastic. Yeah, wax. Mm. Um, and now we just had some lunch just by the little blue lake that's behind us. So that's another sinkhole in the Mount Gambia region um, filled up with water. It looks a little bit of a tinge of blue today, but it's grey and cloudy day. So um, yeah, we'll go down and have a look at that shortly a better look at it anyway and then later on we're gonna go head down to Ewan's ponds um, which are like you can dive and snorkel in them however the waters I think like 11 degrees so it's already freezing cold today I don't know if we'll get in the ponds probably not um, but I've heard they're like crystal clear water yeah just like pretty cool it's all, all the water's like filtered through the limestone. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll be brave enough to get in them. <laughs> we'll go check them out anyway. We'll decide when we get there. checking out the robe area and we went up to Beachport so we'll um, show you what we got up to here um, but in the meantime I just wanted to show you we were just packing up from this um, camp in the National Park um, just a couple of minutes out of robe and not sure what happened but check this out I don't know if you can see oh. Can't really see on camera. It's on an angle. It's not meant to be like that. Hell? Not good. How did that happen? I don't know, it just started rolling. Maybe the, maybe the handbrake isn't working too great. 
Yeah. And the back end slid around and brought the front around. Um, yeah, so that's happening. How are we gonna fix this? <sighs> Buy a new one. Yeah. I can't wind it down basically. It's stuck. So I'd say it's bent. So we'll have to get a new one. We might upgrade it. Yeah, but we need to get the high lift jack out now, don't we? Oh yeah. Yep. We'll have to whip out the high lift. Glad yeah. we brought it first time we've used it. Yeah. First well I hope for the last time we'll use it. Yeah. the day so we're at our next camp now um, which means we obviously uh, fixed the issue with the jockey wheel or not really fixed but may do um, I think we're gonna have to get a new jockey wheel we were looking at getting a new one anyway just because that one's so crappy and fiddly so probably for the best anyway we'll have a nice new jockey wheel which will make our lives so much easier um, but yeah, so we just camped up here f just for the night. We didn't even unhitch the trailer or anything. We've just been chilling out at camp um, up in Kurong National Park and we're going to make our way to the Fluro Peninsula tomorrow. <laughs> 